द मर्चेंट ऑफ वेनिस टूडे विल डिस्कस द कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ एंटोनियो एंड शाइलॉक एंड ऑल्सो कंपेयर एंड कॉन्ट्रास्ट दैम द कैरेक्टर ऑफ एंटोनियो एंटोनियो इज शोन टू बी अ मेलन कली पर्सन फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगिनिंग ऑफ द प्ले इन द ओपनिंग सीन ऑफ द प्ले ही टेल्स हिज फ्रेंड्स दैट ही इज सैड फॉर सम अनोन रीजन्स and this depression of his spirits continues with him throughout the whole play antonio sincerely loves his friend bessenio his love for bessenio is so true and sincere that he even signs a fatal bond for his friend's happiness he does not even inform bessenio until the bond expires lest his friend should mar his happiness in belmont antonio is intolerant among his weaknesses the first weakness is his intolerance of judaism shylock says that antonio hates his sacred nation it is also evident from the mercy he shows to shylock in the trial scene antonio is indiscreet he finds fault with shylock for his usury abuses him publicly and even spits on him antonio is weak hearted it is evident when at the expiry of the bond he goes to shylock and begs him of mercy it rather smacks of ignobility a hero should not have come down to such a low level thus all these above points show that the critics rightly call antonio a passive hero or a pygmy of shakespearean hero now the character of shylock shylock is shown to be a grand figure in the merchant of venice he is imagined to be on the wrong side of 40 he is a miser his miserliness is peculiarly jewish he loves only riches so he grudges even his servant landlords food sleeping habits and even the cost of his clothes he concentrates his love only on riches this makes him a bad father and this causes jessica his only daughter to feel that his house is a hell for her and she wishes to leave it his usury is no less jewish it is based on the authority of his holy scriptures the interest on money is a well one thrift as it is based on a bargain so for him bargain was a way to thrive shylock is cruel too Shylock's cruelty in business dealings is also Jewish through and through. Once a bargain is made with a Jew, the Jew must get his due. Due to this cruelty, he did not care for the feelings of his customers and even for the feelings of his daughter. He is very sensitive to injustice. when his sensitiveness strikes his miserliness he almost goes mad so we can conclude that if not the hero of the play shylock undoubtedly is the most dominant and strong character in the play the merchant of venice now if we compare and contrast the characters of shylock and antonio we can do this on two grounds the first one is their personalities and the second one is in dramatic action now antonio is a christian his character consists of his melancholy nature his deep love for bessenio his kindness to christians only his intolerance of jews his indiscretion evident from his insulting shylock and signing the fatal bond and his weak heartedness as evident from begging mercy of shylock 
the outstanding qualities of shylock's character are his judaism and his sensitiveness to injustice his judaism implies his miserliness or intense love of riches his usury his cruelty in business dealings and his cunningness his sensitiveness to just injustice sparks in him a maddening grief as on jessica's elopement in dramatic action the merchant of venice antonio is a weak and passive character he says he is sad he signs the bond he weeps at the departure of bessenio he begs shylock for mercy etc all these show his weaknesses on the contrary his opponent shylock is a depository of energy and activity in the action of the play he is firm in his all decisions and actions he stands firm in the court also there is no power in the tongue of man to alter me i stay here on my bond thus we can easily say that antonio though the hero of the play dwindles into utter insignificance when he is compared to his mighty opponent shylock generally speaking the a hero is the principal main figure of noble qualities especially one whose career is in the story he should have a number of virtues of head and heart he should be a person of high rank respected and valued in society there are only two main characters in the play the merchant of venice who may be claimant of the hero shylock and antonio now let us compare the characters of both of them shylock is a forceful and dynamic personality in the trial scene he has shown his single minded devotion will and energy with which he stands out for the rights of his people evoke our admit admiration on the other hand antonio is a weak and passive character he is indifferent to life and to this world he is a weak character it was only fair portia who was able to save his life but morally antonio is far superior to shylock he is self sacrificing generous and noble hearted he is a sincere and affectionate friend and risks even his life to help his friend in the hour of need dramatically also antonio is much more important than shylock all the other characters of the play are grouped around him the play begins and ends with him lastly antonio is the merchant in reality having a vast field of business on sea while shylock is only a money lender so whichever angle we consider shylock cannot be regarded as the hero of the play this honor goes only to antonio thank you